we'll be working and fighting fires all summer. So we have to be ready to go. And the thing is, is that between here and Yellowknife, this is the first lake that's completely unfrozen with, you know, an airport nearby and the infrastructure required to do what we do. So it's just, we don't really have any other choices. Can't come down here to train to Kelowna or keep waiting until the lakes unfreeze. And uh, honestly, last year they wanted to call us out a little early in May, but there were no unfrozen lakes around Yellowknife. So we had to wait right up until June 1st before we could actually go online because there's, there's no unfrozen lakes, there's no water to grab, and there's no point in having the planes online. Knife is an awesome place as well, but yesterday morning it was minus seven when they checked the weather. So to come down here and it's just great. You know, it's a, it's a lovely city, nice people, uh, wonderful restaurants, and you know, enjoyable bars, and we get a day off. And uh, you know, we love coming down here. We have friends down here. So for those who would be curious, um, tell us what it's like to to do the water bomb, do the scoop on the lake. I, I've heard it's quite a difficult process. Uh, it's a ton of fun for us. We really enjoy our jobs. Nothing gets us happier than to get come down here and get to play around in the water. Mm -hmm. It's it, it it takes training and it takes years to you know really sort of get it down, become the masters like some of the captains I fly with, uh, flying in different uh, situations of course. But it's it, there is a definite process to it. It's just the fine tuning of it, you know, and then dealing with the different waves and dealing with the different the weight of the airplane and uh, and you're touching down on the water at 80 knots and we have the probes down in the back of the airplane plane when it hits the water it's some drag from the probes we have to check we keep it at the same attitude on the water you know powering up the full takeoff power. there until the tanks are full it takes about 10 seconds to fill the tanks right up and we retract the probes out of the water the plane lurches a little bit we accelerate and then we just lift off take the load to wherever we need to drop it push the button 12,000 pounds of water uh, on the fire or in this case in the middle of the lake or some unknown rock that we're pretending to have the fire on and uh, then we circle around we do it again